We are beginning with the new plan to strengthen security at the University of Georgia after a woman's murder on campus. I'm Karen Greer. And I'm George Estevez. A bigger police budget. We're talking about more security cameras and those blue light call boxes for emergencies. Those new developments were just announced in the last 90 minutes. The university says the $7.3 million investment will allow the UGA Police Department to recruit and retain the very best officers. UGA will also add license plate readers to monitor campus and call boxes and new lighting will help keep students safe. This all comes after the murder of Lakin Riley and all new this hour, a former GBI criminal profiler is taking us inside the mind of the suspect trying to answer the questions so many people are asking. Channel 2 investigative reporter Ashley Lincoln is live in Athens and Ashley, people want to know why. That is the biggest question coming from people. This investigator told us there are a lot of factors in this case, but the two primary factors include this location. You can see is very isolated, very quiet, away from the hustle and bustle of the main campus. And we're also learning the suspect lived directly behind this walking trail. He or she is the only person that knows what's what's going on it's a question on motive former gbi investigator john lang says only jose ibar can answer he just does it just on the spur of the moment while investigators work to learn why ibar murdered 22 year old lake and rowley while she was running on this uga exercise trail i went through newly filed affidavits in this case with lang I was a criminal profiler. Lang worked for more than 25 years with the GBI, investigating and understanding criminal patterns. He says in cases where a woman is attacked by a man, investigators can't rule out if the motive was sexual in nature. Looking at this whole thing, this is like a disorganized offender is what we call them. And, you know, it's, he's impulsive and he just does it on the, on the spur of the moment for whatever motivating factors in these cases lang says it's not uncommon for victims to surprise their attackers by fighting back he's not a very big fellow um and he may have been overwhelmed by her size and her strength and tenacity to, to, to fight back. Legal experts say it's possible because Ibarra lived in this apartment complex that he simply walked from the property and directly onto the trail since it's right behind this complex. That's where the guy lives. We learned Ibarra's apartment was just a 10 minute walk from Riley's apartment. Court documents accused Ibarra of kidnapping Riley between 9 a.m. and 1 p.m. last Thursday. Lane suspects Ibarra panicked and that's why according to the warrant, he hit Riley with an object. Investigators say Barr eventually dragged Riley to a secluded area. Concealing her body, that's just an opportunity for him to, to distance himself from the crime. In Athens, Ashley Lincoln, Channel 2 Action News. And Channel 2 Action News has been on top of the story from the very beginning. And we're in constant contact with law enforcement, also with UGA. We'll bring you any new developments on air and on our website, wsbtv.com. We're also staying